One of the largest kitchens in Indiana that feeds thousands of people every day has now received a half million dollar upgrade. We've got Bruce Cobb joining us live today at noon to show us what these improvements mean for customers. Hey, Bruce. Hi, Scott. Those customers are more or less of a captive audience because of their patients in the hospital. I'm live here at IU Health Methodist Hospital, where they've modernized the kitchen here and replaced equipment that's been here for about 30 years. Now, let's give you a look inside the kitchen that feeds around 5,000 people each day. That's patients, hospital staff, visitors, and catering for other divisions of the hospital. You're looking at one of the upgrades, which is a gigantic kettle. It's cooking up about 100 gallons of brown gravy. Now, it's a steam-jacketed kettle. It's computer-operated. It allows much more control when it comes to temperature, mixing ingredients, and food prep time. Then they can bag the gravy and instantly refrigerate it. Now, the kettle is used for multiple menu items, and the bottom line is improved quality of the food. Well, we hope to make items that are more home-like tasting and um, we want to tailor the taste to our local customers instead of something that we just buy frozen. The quality, we'll be able to do everything from scratch now and not use as many food prepared products. And so we'll be able to actually control the quality of the products. And I think obviously one of the biggest benefits is the food safety and limiting the pathogens that can actually inhibit the food product itself. Now, there are new high-tech ovens that are a combination of steam and convection ovens that keep the food moist instead of drying it out. There are blast refrigerators which chill food down from 180 degrees to 38 degrees in about 90 minutes. That preserves the food better and it keeps longer. Now, hospital food historically has gotten a bad rap over the years for its taste, but upgrades like this allow for custom meals and home-cooked options to suit the dietary demands of patients and a wider range of tasty choices for hospital visitors and staff. So you might notice the difference the next time you pay a hospital visit and uh, dine in the uh, restaurant or in the cafeteria. Live at Methodist, I'm Bruce Cobb. Scott, back to you.